Now we'll be taking a look at Natalia Yurchenko of the Soviet Union, tied for third after the first rotation. We talked about the controversy. Some people feel she shouldn't be here. Gordon talked with Jackie Fye of the FIG earlier. But Jackie, I think it's only fitting that we hear the United States Gymnastics Federation's side to this controversy. Well, Gordy, as you know, the medal winners and the best gymnasts from the previous World Championships in 1981 in Moscow are invited to this competition. There were four countries that had injuries. Uh, United States, China, Czechoslovakia, and the German, De German Democratic Republic. Uh, we petitioned Diane Durham into this competition so that we could come with three gymnasts. This petition was denied since she wasn't a participant in 81. Uh, we accepted this, and when we arrived here, we found that uh, gymnasts from the Soviet Union had been petitioned into this competition, and she had not competed in the 81 World Championships. So the United States registered an official protest, and uh, the result or the uh, explanation was that uh, Yershenko was a reserve in the 1979 World Championships in Fort Worth, Texas and that this qualified her to be in this competition. So we don't have the records to verify this at this point, and it's a question whereas a reserve was really a participant, and it, we also question as to how many years you can go back from Olympic Games to World Championships. And I think if we can go back two years, we can go back four years or six years, and possibly I could have suited up tonight. <laughs> Very well put by a lady who was a member of the 1956 United States Olympic team. There is the president of the International Gymnastics Federation. His name is Yuri Titov. He's from the Soviet Union. He declined to comment in regard to the controversy that is brewing here. 